the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning and welcome to our daily strength today with our rhapsody of realities. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You. Lord, your word abides in us and we are in your words. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, from our rhapsody of reality, we have the word of God that says, We have the word of God that says, Meditate on the word. Day and night. We stand on the word of God. Day and night. Now we are from the book of Joshua 1 verse 8. It says, This book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate during day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then there shall have good success. So your good success is dependent on you meditating on God's word. And God desires that every one of us should walk in good success, right? And that is why the word of God is coming to us today saying, meditate on the word day and night so that we can have good success. It says, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. This tells us also that our prosperity is not on, on God. We can't be asking God in prayer, God, prosper me. Has he prospered you? Yes. He has prospered us and given us everything that we need unto life and godliness. We need your, your prosperity is based on you doing the needful, which is what? Meditating on the word of God. So it is more like there's a principle given to you and I now. You see that? So through meditation, can we prosper? Through meditation, can we have good success? So you want success in any area of your life, in every area of your life, get to the word of God. God's word will teach us in every direction. To the glory of God, now we have received the Holy Spirit of God, who is our teacher, and teaches us all things, so that when you unveil the word to you, he reveals the word to you. He opens your eyes of understanding to see what the word is saying, so that you can walk in the truth of God's word. Hallelujah. So, don't be, so ignorance is what steals people's prosperity. Ignorance is what denies people of good success. So we see a Christian that is praying that, Lord, prosper me. Lord, um, I want to succeed in this and the things I do in life. Give me success in life. You know, people pray for success every day, right? But we understand that success is not um, a particular determined manner. Success is determined at every stage you are in life. So you can have good success in every area of your life. Are you currently a student? You can have a good, a successful, good success in the place of academics. Are you working in a, in a bank? You can have success as a, as a, as a, as, a, as a what? As a worker in a bank. So there's success in every area, every area, even as 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 a as as, as a wife, as a, as a husband. You have a successful husband, successful wives. You know, even as a child. Right? So God can give you success in every area of our lives. Why? The word of God will teach us what to do. When you walk in God's wisdom, now you can what? Be found successful. For God gave, what did God give um, King Solomon that made him so successful? God gave him what? Wisdom and knowledge. So when we get to the word of God, what are, what, what are we doing? We are, we are digging into what? Wisdom and knowledge. We are gaining wisdom and knowledge from the word of God. You know that um, the scripture says to us that what? Unto us a child is born. Right? 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 And he said that what? He made unto us a wisdom. Uh, eh? Christ is made unto us what? Wisdom. Right? So Christ is made unto us wisdom, which means when you dig into the word of Christ, which is what? The word of God. And that's funny where in your scriptures. Right? The Holy Bible. When we open our scriptures to study and do open our rhapsody of realities, you know, things that bring us to the scriptures, the things, uh, materials that teach us the scriptures, now we can meditate on God's word. Glory be to God. Amen. Today, because we are discussing the topic that said on the word of God, day and night, from our rhapsody of realities, you and I now, we have, we have been able to read the book of Joshua 1 verse 8, right? And this is what? God's word. So you see that materials like this help us to grow on a daily basis and get and be taught of the word of God. Now, digging further from our rhapsody of realities, we have it saying, there is a word I would like you to notice in the opening text. Is the word observe. Is the word what? Observe. Many Bible scholars have had difficulty interpreting it. They have wrestled for years with that terminology. To them, it means that you may understand how to do, but that's not it. The word translated observe is shamar. It means to watch for the purpose of doing. It's like looking out for something you 
So you can do. Hallelujah. Amen. So what this is showing us here, from my opening scripture, it says what? That thou mightest observe to do. Right? Mightest what? Observe to do. I want, I, want God, I want God is showing us here that that word observe, which is used there, that thou mightest observe to do. So, you know, it is not speaking that you may understand how to do. You know, it's not, you know, it's not giving to you to understand how to do. That means saying that if you understand how to do is that it's saying that it's more of, um, um, you only, you gain the understanding to do it, right? That you may understand how, you understand how to do. But it's what, it says, it means what? For the purpose of what? Doing. Right? It's like, it's like, it's like looking out for something so you can do. So what I'm going to show you here is that, it's different from you saying that you understand how to do. That means yeah, the word of God only teaches you how, how, how. The word of God is what when you look onto the scriptures, you do it. Because whatever you see, that's why even even um, 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 Jacob, right? Was it is Jacob, right? That how to get um, his father-in-law's um, sheep and go to his side. How did he do it? He had to create an image that they had to look at during the time of their meeting. And when I saw that image, they, the ones that are, they have spot, they have spot on their body, and Jacob was able to claim it. You see that? So what, what you look at is what you become. If a man is found looking at certain things in a, in a certain direction, whatever you focus your mind on is what you become. That's why the Bible says, well, let the word of God be on your mind all the time, all the time, right? And when we meditate on God's word, what happens? The word of God is on our minds. So when you have this in your mind, it begins to what, you begin to what, do it. It gets into your subconsciousness. Then you begin to do the word of God. You see? So it's not like you're going to go and learn how to do it. You're not going to come and read it like the people of the old. They have to learn the word of God. They have to learn, do not fornicate. Do not do this. Do not do this. So they, when they come to, this, to, their, to their holy book, that people of the old, you know, they have to learn that, okay, this is what you should do. This is what you should not do. And then they have to go and practice how to do and not how not to do. You see? But you and I, we have something bigger. We have the Spirit of God in us that causes us to what? Live holy before God. So the, what they are trying to achieve in the old, you and I have received the Spirit of God to help us to what? Fulfill God's, God's desire concerning us. Amen. So when you open the Scriptures, you're not, learning, you're, not, you're not called to go and learn how to. But when, when, you look into, when, you look, when you look into the Scriptures, what happens to you? Now it says what? It means to watch for the purpose of what? Doing. Watch for the purpose of what? Doing. That means when you search the scripture that you find something, you just do it. You see that? And then now you have the Spirit of God that helps us to help us what? To fulfill these words. So you copying, it says, it's like looking out for something so you can do. Copying to do or hearing to do. Following what the Lord told Joshua, if you would meditate on the word as you should, you will be prepared to do what the word says. You see that? We prepare to do what? What the word says. So it's, it's, it's more of meditate upon the word of God. It's the word of God is able to build it up. But you meditate on the word of God, but you looking onto the, the scriptures on day and night. That means it should always be on your mind. In a day, what do you have? You have day and night, right? To make it a full day, right? That means in the morning is your mind. In the afternoon is your mind. In the evening is your mind. You, you are sleeping is your mind. Even when you are sleeping, some people say, even by the grace of God, you might even be quoting the scriptures as you sleep. It's your mind. So it's day and night that you may what? Prosper. That means by you looking at onto the scriptures, by you may turn upon the scriptures, it has a doing that goes alongside. It prepares you to do the word. Do what the word says. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul alludes to this in Philippians 2 verse 13 when he said, For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. You see that? So the word of God now is being performed by who? God, who is working in you. It's no longer a thing of you starting to go and do it, like people of the old. Because they have to be the one to do it themselves. The old law was based on works. But this new law is based on what? What we have received is based on what? On God working his works through us. The old law was based on you as a man doing the work, doing the needful to get things done. But now we receive the Spirit of God in us, who teaches us all things and Cause us both to will and to do. That means the willingness to do it is also given to you by the Spirit of God that is in us. Hallelujah. 
He will teach us the word of God and remind us things to come. Jesus said what? That, he was, that the Father will send another like me. That was just told us, told us, right? And he's able to what? To teach you, to remind you all things that have, all things, right? And that means what? When we look at, when we look into the word of God, when the time comes that we shall apply the word of God, God's spirit in us will teach us the word and reveal to us what we have to do. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we can see what the word is saying and the willingness to do it is also in us. And we begin to do the word. So by you looking to the scriptures, begin to what? Do the word. Hallelujah. Amen. This is akin to what the Lord said to Joshua in the 10th verse. Do you want to be successful, prosperous, and do wisely in the affairs of life? In the affairs of life. In the affairs of a wife, yeah, there's, a, there's a way to do it. In the affairs of as a husband, as an employee, as an employer. You want to be successful in all that you do. Get to the word of God. Do you want to be able to help others, other people, become successful and prosperous? So that beyond just you prospering and be successful, God wants to watch, prosper others and make other words, others what successful. You see that? Now you begin to counsel others on what? On God's wisdom. Because you're able to say the scriptures. You know what God is saying concerning every matter they bring to you. Someone can come and join, they can receive the word of knowledge from you, the word of, the, the, the word of grace from you. You know, when talking to you about his problem, he or she can gain grace. They will now empower he or she to come out of that problem. Because a man found with the word of God. Because they have found meditating on, the, on God's word day in and night. You see? So in God's word, you can find solution to anything that is, that is of this life. For in the word of God, you can reveal, it reveals what? Everything unto, everything is in this life unto what? Life and godliness. is found in the word of God. So by studying God's word, all these things can be taught to you and I. So that we can get to do. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. That's why he says in 1 Timothy 4 verse 15, Make all of this your constant meditation. Make it real with your life so everyone can see that you are moving forward. Hallelujah. Everyone can see. So it's beyond just you. Now people begin to observe you. Now become that, um, you know, become the epistle of God's word. You know, people can read you and then, you, by them reading you, they can read what? The love of the Father. They can read and know how the Father loves. They can read and know how God thinks. Why? The word of God is found in you richly. Hallelujah. Amen. So make all of this your constant meditation. Make it real in, with your life. Make it real with your life. That's the aspect of doing. And the, the doing aspect is not based on you. It's based on you what? Meditate on God's word. But you meditate on God's word. Now you begin to what? Walk the word in your life. Glory. So keep this word, keep this book of the law always on your lips. That is how you can speak to others. So that it will not be found only you. You know, you can't say you're a quiet Christian. You can't, you can't, when you're a Christian, people will know surely you're a Christian. Because the words you speak will carry the word of God in it. Your actions, your actions, your words, your thoughts will be of God's word. People will indeed know that you are one born of God. Even when you speak, they know that you are from God. So keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be what? Prosperous and what? Successful. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have to keep the word of God in our, on our lips. Let people know that you are born of God. Let them know. Meditate on the word will give you an understanding. A motivation and an inspiration to do what God wants you to do. You see that? By you meditating on God's word, you have the inspiration, the understanding to do what God wants you to do. So by you meditating on God's word, you cannot do the way, the, 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 you cannot do things in the ways of God, in God's way, right? You, you want to do things, everything you do in your, in your life will be according to what God, you know, desires that you should do concerning that situation or that matter. Now, this is the book of Psalms 1, verse 1 to 3. It says, book of Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. It says, what delight comes to the one who follows God's ways. You see? Who follows who? God's ways. He won't walk in his steps with the wicked, nor share the sinner's way, nor be found sitting in the corner seat. His passion is to remain true to the word of, of I am, meditating day and night, on the true revelation of light. Now, reading for that, it says, it says, he will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's desire, deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bringing, bearing fruit in every season of life. He is very dry, ever fainting. He's never dry, never fainting, ever blessed, and ever what? Prosperous. Glory. Hallelujah. 
So you can't maintain on God's word and fail in life. That's the secret. That's the secret. So maintaining on God's word gives you an understanding, motivation, and an inspiration to do what God wants you to do. Do you want to get inspiration, understanding, motivation? People say things like motivational speaker. Get to God's word. You'll be motivated. You'll inspire you to do the things they are called to do. Practice this for as at, for at least an half an hour every day. You know what that means? For half an hour every day. For at least half an hour every day. That means have a time of what? Meditation on God's word. Have a study time. A quiet time with God. Don't let your busy schedules and you know doings of the day. You know, take you away from meditating on God's word. For your success is based on God's word. So have at least um, half an hour every day. You know, to meditate on God's word. It can be very early in the morning before you get to work. You have you know, be able to study God's word. And it can also be at night. Have a study time, a library time, a time they can say, this is time for me to study God's word. For that tells, for that, hallelujah. Now, practice this for at least half an hour every day. Psalms 1 verse 1 to 3. For that tells us the overwhelming blessings this will produce in your life. You will be standing firm like a flourishing tree planted by God's design. You see that? Deeply rooted by the brooks of bliss, bearing fruit in every season of life. Don't you desire that for your life? Very fruit in every word. Season of life. Never dry. Never, never dry. Never fainting. But ever blessed. And unending prosperous. Hallelujah. Unendingly prosperous. Hallelujah. Amen. So this will be your portion from this day upwards in my Lord Jesus' name. Amen. So get to the word of God. Get the addiction be on the, on the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to be praying very soon. We're going to be praying very soon. Before we pray, let us go ahead and take this confession together. Declare these words with me. Say, as I meditate on the word, the, the forces of success, prosperity, and divine health are activated in my life. I'm transformed from glory to glory to, through the propelling power of the word. I make progress with giant strides. And my success is evident to all as I deal wisely in the affairs of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Let's go ahead and pray. We're we'll declaring the glory of God over our nation where we are right now. Lord, your word will prevail in this nation. Lord, your word will prevail in this nation. Lord, your word will prevail in this nation. Yes, Lord, I give you praise for believers in this nation. We stand strong in your word. We may not do your word, O oh Lord. As we meditate upon your word day in and night on daily basis. Thank you, King of Glory, for your shepherds, O oh Lord, indeed will teach your, your sheep and your, and your lamb. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes, Lord, your word is taught in every church, O oh Lord. In every church, O oh Lord, your word is taught. Men grow in your word, O oh Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Understanding is given to us, your children, that we will do the will of the word of God. Thank you, Heavenly Father, we bless your name. Radabande Makuchkaba. We heal the sick, we raise the dead, we cast out devils. Thank you, Lord, for all around prosperity have given us in your name. Thank you, Lord, Lord, that we indeed will continuously Lord, look into your into your, into the scriptures to to see and to do. You have your perfect in our lives in Jesus' name. Marabo Sharabande. We pray for the ones that were backslidden, O oh Lord. Indeed, the word of God will indeed help them. God's word will come to them. For by any means, God's word will come to them. They will be rescued from the power of darkness. In the name of Lord Jesus' name. Oh, Sharabande Makuchkave. No, Lord Jesus Christ. Rikate Barabosha. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, King of Glory. Marabo Sharabrande Kiskaba. Rekere Brande Makushka Veki Bradosh. Sharabrande Makura Bashante Kabradia. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In our Lord Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are praying for nations where God's word is currently being denied. The nations are fighting the word of God. And we have seen here that 
the nation that are fighting God's war, they will not have good success. That means they are working in ignorance, and ignorance is very is very expensive. You want to be praying, Lord, your word will prevent Asia. Your word will prevent Middle East. Lord, that people get to know you, Lord Jesus. Many will know you, my Lord, my God. We will remove that veil from their eyes. Their eyes will understand to be a light, and they will know you, my God. Lord, you indeed show yourself strong in their lives. Oh, Barabashata, Zerebrade, Makuchka, Veka, Bradia, Makata, Rabasunte, Kishka, Thank you, King of Glory. Your word is prevailing Asia, my Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. In every corner of Africa, your word is prevailing. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We put on every evil altar. We put on every idol worship. We destroy them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you praise. In our Lord Jesus Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Philippians 2 verse 13 says, For it is God which worketh in you both to do both, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Hallelujah. Amen. So I declare for you from this day that everything you are involved with will speak of the, good, of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. But everything that you are involved with will speak of Christ being resurrected in Jesus' name. Amen. In, 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 be resurrected. But indeed, you have been brought into a life of, of godliness. And indeed, you have life to the fullest. I declare that indeed, that the life of, the life, the life of God Jesus has given us, yes, will manifest in everything that you do. And indeed, everything that you do, you will show the word of God to all men. In my Lord Jesus' name, you will show God's word to all men and glorify our Father in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for your children are blessed in your name. Thank you, Lord, for indeed they will do things that bring you good pleasure. In our Lord Jesus' name, we are prayed the grace the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and sweet fellowship of the holy spirit abounds with us now and forevermore amen shalom shalom god bless you god bless you